What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Now today I'm going to be talking about some fire upcoming sneaker releases in June. Now last month wasn't too bad in releases, but this month definitely has some fire. So there's a lot of sneakers releasing this month. I'm only going to be talking about the ones that I think are fire, but if a sneaker is bad enough, you know I got to talk about it. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump into these sneaker releases. Alright guys, let's go ahead and talk about this sneaker here. On the 13th, they're releasing the LeBron 17 in the South Beach colorway. Now, if you've been into sneakers for a while, you know how iconic this colorway is. Now, this South Beach colorway is iconic. It used to go for hundreds and hundreds of dollars back in the day with the older models. But now, I would kind of say that the South Beach colorway hype kind of fell off. But still, it does not take away how dope this colorway is on this sneaker. So as you can see, you have that whole teal upper. You have the white speckled midsole. You have the orange air bubble with some gray details on the outsole and the tongue. And of course, you got to have that splash of pink in there with the LeBron logo on the tongue. Now, I really dig this sneaker here, but the only thing I don't like about it is the price point. It's $220. Now, that is a lot of money for someone to drop on a pair of sneakers. I mean, it would be really dope if they lowered the price for this sneaker. I mean... Obviously, they're not going to do that, but it will be cool, especially for kids who actually play ball in his sneakers. I think ever since, like, the LeBron 9, they started going up crazy. Like, I think I got my pair of LeBron 9s retail for, like, 190 and ever since then, they've been going up 200 210 220 you know, and it's probably still going to keep going up, so I wouldn't be surprised if you see LeBron in the future going for about 3 to 320 But let me ask you guys a quick question. Leave it in the comments below. Which LeBron model sported the South Beach colorway the best? Leave it in the comments below, I would love to know. Me personally, I think the 8, but that's just my opinion. So copper drop, leave it in the comments below. I'm probably going to drop because I'm not a big baller, but it is a cool looking sneaker. And if you're a baller, I definitely recommend picking it up. It's a dope one. All right, guys, so next up on the 13th, we have three colorways dropping of the Air Force One Premium. Now, I actually really do like the model of the sneaker. I like the Air Force with the little jewel Nike logo in the middle. I think it looks super dope. It's something different you don't really see every day. So you have this like white one here with this off-white midsole with some blue detailing along the laces the tongue and the little jewel nike and the logo then you have an all black one which is just all blacked out with the white midsole this one's okay probably the best out of the three dropping then they have a gray colorway here you got the white midsole the gray upper red nike logo red hits on the tongue Again, not really feeling these colorways, but the model is actually really dope. My personal opinion, I feel like they can do something so much better with this, especially for the 140 price point. It's kind of steep for this Nike here. If it was like a solid 90 bucks, I would definitely cop it. But the 140 price point is just ridiculous for an Air Force One especially. But if you like these, not a bad pickup on the 13th, 140. If you want to drop it, drop it. It's up to you. But for me personally, it's going to be a drop. Alright guys, so next up on the 16th, we have the Air Max 90 Duck Camo. Now I'm sure you guys have seen the green camo ones before. Me personally, I like these ones a little better. So as you can see, the classic Air Max 90 silhouette. You can't go wrong with it, especially in this camo color. I know it's not for everybody, but I think it's super dope. So you got the camo upper, the orange mesh, the black hits along the swoosh, the midsole, the back, and the tongue. Then it all ties together with the white midsole and the laces. So retail for this is going to be $140. Now, is it worth it? I don't know. It's going to be up to you. Me personally, I'm going to go ahead and drop it. Even though it's a fire sneaker, I would love to have it. I'm just going to be more picky with what I pick up. It would be dope if they came out with this shoe in like a purple maybe that's doing too much i don't know next up on the 17th we have a nike blazer mid 77 dropping in a really clean colorway so as you can see the only difference between this one and a bunch of other nike blazer 77s is that this one has a snakeskin swoosh so as you know the nike blazer mid 77 is a summer wardrobe staple and i think they spiced it up just right with this snakeskin swoosh i know nike did like an air force one with the snakeskin swoosh and a bunch of others but I really like this one here. The shoe is already so simple and clean, and I definitely think they helped it out with the snakeskin pattern. So when I caught this one here, probably I don't really have too many blazers in my collection, so I definitely like to add this one in there. Oh, and retail for this here is $120, so it's not too bad. All right, guys, so also on the 17th, we have another snakeskin swoosh sneaker dropping and this one here is the nike sky force coming in at 85 dollars now i'm not gonna lie i have never seen the nike sky force model i'm not even gonna front for you guys like i've never seen this silhouette but let me be honest here i definitely dig it it definitely reminds me of the air force one it's simple it's clean and for 85 dollars i mean you can't really pass it up i think it's a good pickup this is definitely like a cool sneaker to go with like cargo pants or jeans 
So I definitely recommend this one here if you're looking for a new silhouette to get into. Just from seeing the silhouette here, I definitely wanna look into some other colorways. All right guys, so on the 18th, we have a Nike Adapt Auto Max named the Anthracite. So retail for this one here is about $400, which is very steep. But as I'm sure you know with this sneaker, it's an auto lacing sneaker. So basically all you have to do is push a button and it laces the sneaker for you, I guess. I mean, it's cool, but in my opinion, not worth the $400 price point. Not gonna cap, the colorway here is actually pretty dope. I wasn't expecting anything like this. So you have that like, it looks brown, but I'm pretty sure it's black upper. Then you have like that, I don't even know what you wanna call that. It looks like static, like a black and blue static midsole with some more like dark blue hits around the back. I think it's a pretty dope colorway overall. Now, would I drop $400 on the sneaker? Definitely not. There's way better sneakers I can drop $400 on and this one would not be it. So this is a drop for me. But let me know in the comments below, do you guys have any self-lacing auto sneakers? Let me know. All right guys, so next up on the 18th, we have two colorways of the Reebok Question Low Dropping. Now, I don't remember the last time I put on my pair that I have in the closet. I have a pair of Questions. Georgetown's, I can't remember the last time I put them on my feet. I don't know, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. For me, I'm probably gonna go ahead and drop this thing. I mean, it's a dope colorway, but still not something I'd really put in my rotation. It's like one of those sneakers you would like to have, but you really won't wear it. I mean, I'm pretty sure you guys have had a couple sneakers like that in the past where you like the sneaker, you like the way it looks, you cop it, but you don't really wear it. All right guys, so on the 19th, we have a Nike pack dropping named the Supernova. Now there is three silhouettes dropping. Let me go over these for you. We have the Air Max Plus, we have the Nike React 270, and we have the Air Max 90, which is the best out of the three. Now all three obviously have a Galaxy theme to them, but the only one that hits for me is the Air Max 90. I think it pulls the colorway together perfectly. So unfortunately, no price point yet, but I do believe it would be around like 160 for each pair. So let me know in the comments below which one you're feeling the most. Obviously, like I said, I'm feeling the Air Max 90 the most. That's just me, but the React is also super clean. So next up on the 19th, we have the Nike Air Force Be True. Now, obviously from the colorway, you can tell that this is a pride sneaker. You have like the little pride flag on the midsole where the Nike used to be. Then you have some more rainbow pride in the um, back tab and a little bit on the tongue as well. Now, one thing that's different about this Air Force One is that it has extra perforations on the mid panel and on the toe, I believe. So it's a little different. So this one's cool. Definitely one of the best Pride sneakers they've released. And retail for this one here is $120. So let me know, cop or drop. Let me know in the comments below. All right, guys, so next up on the 24th, you have the Nike Dunk Low named the Champ Colors retailing at $100. So really not too much to go over with this sneaker here. You have the burnt orange and you have like that purple or navy. You can't really tell what that is from the picture here. Anyway, it's a normal Nike Dunk. Don't wanna go into it too much. It's a dope colorway, I would definitely cop it. All right guys, so next up on the 29th, we have an Adidas collaboration with Prada on the Adidas Superstar. Now they really did the bare minimum with this collaboration here. I mean, it even comes in three colorways and they did not hit on any of them. Literally all they did was stamp their Prada logo on the side of the sneaker. I mean, maybe, I'm pretty sure the leather is gonna be really good and stuff, well, I hope so, for this price point of $450. Now, these sell out probably because they're product collaboration, but still super trash in my opinion. Let me know in the comments below what you think of these. All right, guys, so on the 15th, we have the Jordan 5 Top 3 releasing. So just to break this sneaker down, if you don't really know what's going on with it, you have the Grape 5, as well as the Fire Red 5, and I think the Metallic 5, all fused in one sneaker. So I spoke about this one before, I believe. Now, I don't really feel this colorway too much. I mean, I think the purple just kind of throws everything off. That purple and teal does not match the vibe of the bottom half of the sneaker. Now, if they would have kept that tongue with like a 5 Red 5 tongue with that gray 3M tongue, I think it would have been super dope. Kind of just ruined it with the grape tongue, in my opinion. So these are retailing for 200 bucks. Now, would I be copying? Definitely not. Just not a fan of this one here. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. All right, guys, so on the 20th, we have the Jordan 4 Metallic Red dropping for $190. Now, in my opinion, one of the best colorways dropping out of this whole Metallic pack. And if I were to try to get my hands on a pair, it would definitely be this one here. I mean, it's a Jordan 4, you can't go wrong with it. All white colorway with the red hits. Definitely a summertime sneaker. So for me, you already know it's gonna be a cop. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Now, next up on the 25th, we have the Jordan 3 Animal Instinct 2.0. 
I do not like this sneaker whatsoever. It looks like a weird black cement three to me. Retail for this is $250. Now I know a lot of people are actually feeling this colorway. I just can't do it. I can't rock something like this with all these different animal prints. Just not for me. Plus that 250 price point, kind of steep. I would not be copying this one here. Definitely drop, gotta drop it. So next up on the 26th, we have the Jordan 1 tie-dye dropping for $170. Now this one here, I was not expecting myself to like so much because of the tie-dye pattern, but I'm really feeling this colorway here. Might be one of my favorite releases of this month. I would love to get the sneaker in hand. I like to feel the materials they use on the sneaker. Hopefully it's good. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. This is definitely a cop for me. Next up on the 27th, we have this Jordan 11 low dropping. This is named the Concord Bread because it has the Concord upper with the bread outsole. Now this retails for $185, which is kind of steep for a Jordan 11 low. And I'm really a fan of this colorway here. I mean, you're mixing two of the best Jordan 11 colorways, so you can't go wrong with it. I just wish it was just a normal Jordan 11. They didn't do the low top version. I think it would've been so much better. I haven't picked up a pair of Jordan 11s in a long, long time. So I might pick this one up here. Who knows, might be a cop for me. Let me know what you guys think. All right guys, so on the 25th, we have the Yeezy Quantum Basketball Sneaker coming in in this barium colorway for $250. This is definitely one of the best Yeezy Quantum Basketball colorways they've released. Unfortunately, I haven't gotten my hands on a pair yet. Hopefully these will be the first ones I do get my hands on. I do want to cop this sneaker, I really do like it, but I just don't know if I'm gonna wear it too often. So we'll see how that goes, whether I take a W or an L. Still must cop for me. Now next up we have the Yeezy 350 Boost Zebra restocking for the 100th time on the 27th for $220. It's insane how much they've restocked this sneaker and I still don't have my hands on a pair. So hopefully I get my hands on this one here. I mean, I should take a W, but we'll see how that goes. You never know. But I'm not gonna get into this one too much. I mean, it's a Yeezy 350 Zebra. You've seen this a bunch of times. So I'm not really gonna go into it too much. Like I said, let me know in the comments below how many of you guys have this sneaker. I mean, I feel like everyone and their mom has this sneaker here. Now it's just my turn. I definitely want to get my hands on this pair here. Definitely my favorite colorway of the Yeezy 350. So we'll see if I'm able to scoop these here. I mean, I should be able to, but like I said, you never know. Anyway, guys, that's going to wrap it up for me. Let me know in the comments below what you're copying or dropping this summer in the comment section below. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. If you are not subscribed already, make sure you leave a like on the video. It helps me out a ton. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs>